Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. This is an update that I'm giving you guys in regards to series 6 of the Just Your Average Penalty Shootout series. And yes, before I talk to you guys about what I'm going to do in this video, I am going to explain the format of this competition so you guys have a better understanding of it. Yes, the first five series of this competition and obviously the ones that I have uploaded onto my YouTube channel so far were part of a group stage. And yes, I did share the final table in the very last episode of the group stage. So if you want a recap of that or if you want to see the table again, um, you can go back to that video. I will be sharing it again. But yes, um, the first five series of this um, competition were part of a group stage series six will be two semi-finals and series seven will be a third place match as well as the final so um i just thought i'd give you guys that explanation so you guys have a better understanding of the format of the competition but in terms of what i'm going to do for you guys in terms of this video i am going to give you guys the rules for the semi-final stage i will give you guys a recap of the final group stage table and then i'll give you guys the fixtures for the two semi-finals so without further ado let's get straight into it all right so here are the rules for the semi-final stage of this competition rule number one is that semi-final one will take place between first placed sorry first place and third place from the group stage that does not roll off my tongue very easily i apologize rule number two is that semi-final two will be between second place and fourth place from the group stage rule number three is as follows sudden deaths will be introduced in the event of a draw so if after the first five penalties are taken by both contestants um see sorry let me rephrase that if there is a draw after both contestants have taken five penalties we will go into sudden death to decide who goes into the final um that's rule number three um rule number four is this you are not allowed to be in the box when your opponent is taking a penalty and i'll be honest with you guys we did have quite a few problems with encroaching and um players being behind their opponent when they're about to take a penalty so i'm going to be strict on this um when we produce the videos for the two semi-finals but yes that's rule number four rule number five is a simple one and it's this a game of rock paper scissors will be played to determine who gets the shootout underway and this is just to keep things fair um and the last rule is this you are not allowed to be near the net when your opponent is taking a penalty and the only exception is if you're looking at the goalkeeper to see if they come off their line or not but yes, those are the six rules. Yes, I'm going to put them on screen. You won't be able to see the last one because I made a mistake in terms of actually cropping the image. But yes, um, those are the six rules. And I, I am going to move on to the recap of the group stage table so you guys can get an idea of who's playing in the semi-final stages and who's been eliminated. But yes, let's move on. Yes, this is the recap of the final group stage table and it is simple. I've used different colours to show different things and yes, I used green to show that four players have qualified and I used red to show that two players have been eliminated. It's really that simple. I'm going to read out the names anyway. Um, sorry about that. I um, just kicked my tripod. But anyways, I digress. In first place was David. I finished second. McKaylee finished third and Mitchell finished fourth, as you guys can see on your screens. And sadly, the two that were eliminated were Kevin and Gino. But before I get into my thoughts on the group stage overall, because I felt it'd be a good idea to do this now, um, I'm just gonna say that despite those two being eliminated from the com competition, I'd just like to publicly say that I am grateful for all the effort they put into making this series what it is. And depending on what happens next, or after this tournament is done, um, it would be good to see them back participating very soon. But yes, I just thought I'd get that one in there because obviously this this competition would be nothing without the rest of the participants. But um, yes, 
it really is that simple the first four have gone through the bottom two have gone out and before i move on i just wanted to say that this has been a really good group stage it was full of some absolutely fantastic moments it has been over two years in the making as well and finally it has ended finally we can move on to the semi-final stage and i hope you are all looking forward to it because me and my friends really are looking forward to taking parts in it and producing videos for it so um do stay tuned for it we will be producing videos for it very soon but anyways that is the recap of the final group stage table and we shall move on to the actual fixtures for the semi-finals themselves let's do it so now that you have seen the rules for the semi-final stage as well as the final group stage table for a second time you can probably guess what the semi-final um, fixtures are going to be but i will be putting them on my screen for you all to see and yes they are as follows semi-final one will be contested between david and mckaylee and semi-final two will be contested between myself and mitchell and um it's going to be interesting i'm not going to say too much because i am very nervous at the time of this recording but um those are the semi-final fixtures and i hope you all enjoyed this video i thank you all very much for helping me get this far with this competition and um we cannot wait to keep it going but yes that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it i'll see you all very soon for some more videos and certainly some more brilliant spot kicks but anyways take care of yourselves and peace